In the last video, you learned the definition of moment generating function, or MGF, and you learned in theory how to use it. So now we're going to practice on a simple example, the Bernoulli distribution. So let's have a random variable x have a Bernoulli distribution with probability p. So we know that this means x can take on two values, 0 or 1. So it takes on the value 0 with probability 1 minus p, and it takes on the value 1 with probability p. All right, so let's start off by calculating our moment generating function. So for any random variable, x, assuming that this expectation exists, our moment generating function is going to be the expected value of e to the tx. All right, so we're just starting super basic broad there, and now let's go into our definition for discrete. So in the discrete case, or in other words, when x is a discrete random variable, we're taking a sum over all the values of x of e to the tx times the pmf, so p sub x of x. All right, now let's get into specifically the Bernoulli stuff. So we know it takes on two values, 0 and 1. So let's evaluate this for 0 and then for 1 and add them together. So e to the t, and then we're going to plug in 0 here and 0 here. So we have e to the t times 0 times the pmf evaluated at 0 plus e to the t times 1 times the PMF evaluated at 1. All right, and we already figured out the PMF evaluated at 0 and 1. So evaluated at 0, we get 1 minus p. Evaluated at 1, we get p. And of course, e to the t times 0 is just 1. So we end up with 1 times, this part is 1 minus p, so that's there, and then plus e to the t times p. All right, so in other words, we end up with an MGF of 1 minus p plus p e to the t. So this is our MGF. This is what we're going to take derivatives of and evaluate at t equals 0 in order to get moments. All right, so let's practice this a little bit. Let's calculate the variance of x, where x is this Bernoulli random variable. So of course, we know that the variance of x is equal to the second moment minus the square of the first moment. So let's go ahead and find the first moment and the second moment, plug those quantities in. So for the first moment, we know we need to take one derivative with respect to t and then evaluate at t equals 0. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're taking the first derivative with respect to t of our MGF, which we said was 1 minus p plus p e to the t. So take the derivative of that and evaluate at t equals 0. So taking the derivative of this with respect to t, this is a constant with respect to t, this is a constant with respect to t, and then the derivative of this with respect to t is p e to the t. So our first derivative is p e to the t, evaluated at t equals 0, and we just get p. So this is good. This is what we already knew about Bernoulli random variables, that the first moment, or in other words, the mean, is equal to p. All right, so that's good. We're on the right track. Now, if we want to calculate the second moment, we're going to need to take one more derivative. We're going to take the derivative of this so that we can end up with the second derivative of our MGF. So we're taking the second derivative of our MGF, which means it's the first derivative of p e to the t, and then we're evaluating at t equals 0. So derivative of this with respect to t is p e to the t, and then evaluate at t equals 0. So e to the t when t equals 0 is just 1, so we end up with just p. All right, so first moment is equal to p, second moment is equal to p. So we can plug that into our expression for variance here, and we will get, since this part is p, and then the part inside the parens here is p, we get p minus p squared, and if we want to, we could rewrite that as p times 1 minus p, and this, we know, is the variance of a random variable x when x has a Bernoulli distribution. So we haven't found anything new here, we're just confirming what we already knew, but it's good practice for understanding how to use moment-generating functions. 